What's going on, friends? The last thing we think about when we buy an air cleaner is the crankcase ventilation. The crankcase ventilation, it runs it right back through your throttle body and into your engine, and it's not exactly the best thing for the engine. So today, we're gonna take a look at some options on rerouting that hot oxygen depleted gas, and then you might see, you might just have to be a little creative, but it's well worth it. Air cleaners are a very personal statement. That is the first thing just about anybody notices on your motorcycle, and everybody looks for something different. Now, with an air cleaner, usually the last thing we're thinking about when we buy these air cleaners is that hot, oxygen-depleted gases coming from the crankcase that are getting recycled back into the engine. It's not good for the motor, just plain and simple. It robs horsepower, it decreases engine life, and it really just, it's, it's pretty nasty in there. It's pretty ugly. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute, just how bad it can be. But before we get too far in today's video, guys, please be sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, you're probably thinking, if your motorcycle's running, why do I need to worry about carbon buildup on the top of my pistons? Well, carbon buildup on the top of your pistons, over time, it can actually change the tune of your motorcycle. So, a lot of times what I hear is, yeah, you know, my bike's been, it ran great, you know, 10, 15,000 miles, motorcycle ran great. But now all of a sudden it just feels like it's lacking power. And then of course, you know, you go back, you get it retuned and it runs good again. But what caused the tune to change? Well, what caused the tune to change is generally a heavy carbon buildup on the top of the pistons. And just like with my wife's bike here, I'm using hers as an example and mine's no different. She's got a lot of carbon buildup on the top of her pistons, and this is only after 5,000 miles. The EPA mandates that the crankcase ventilation system has to be recycled back through the throttle body or carburetor to be burned in the engine. Well, putting hot oxygen depleted air into the engine is going to rob your horsepower. Not good. It's also going to reduce the engine life. So by running to an external breather system, we're going to increase our engine life, increase our horsepower of torque, and we're going to eliminate the need to retune the motorcycle periodically. I wish I could tell you that running an external breather system is very cut and dry and easy to do. There are very few companies out there that actually offer an air cleaner that's already set up to run an external breather system. I think, I believe DK Customs is about one of the only ones that you can get. Unless you got a Sportster, Hammer Performance does make air cleaners that are already set up to run an external breather system. But you do have a couple of options. And once again, you still have to be creative. There are some uh, backing plates that have external breather systems on them, mainly for carbureted bikes. Uh, sometimes you can find them that'll work with the Delphi EFI. It's kind of tricky to get one of these to work with just any air cleaner out there. It's really not a one size fits all setup. So whether you have a flat backing plate for your air cleaner or you've got the round style, you have gotta be creative with these. We're talking about some drilling, running some tubing. So probably one of the absolute simplest ones you can do is to put a set of breather bolts in your heads. These are filtered bolts that are basically hollow inside with a little filter on the outside. This allows the crankcase gas to be vented to the atmosphere. Now, some of the issues with these is they can clog up and start puking oil over time. And not only that, most of your air cleaner backing plates, they are designed to bolt directly to your heads to, for your head breathers. So you're gonna have to be creative once again and do some modification. You're gonna have to cut your air cleaner backing plate back. But the other downside to that is those breathers, those head breathers for your backing plate, they also support your air cleaner as well. So just be mindful of that if you're doing this. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of creative minds out there when it comes to these air cleaner external breathers. A lot of people will drill the back of the backing plates, run some tubing through those, and they hide it all nice and clean back behind there. They'll put a Y underneath the air cleaner. Some of them, they hang their catch can just right below the air cleaner, or they'll actually run their catch can down below the bike. Now, I would caution you though, by doing that with an external breather, just if you want to run a filter down below the bike, uh, they can collect oil, start dripping oil, and you don't want to get that on your rear tire. That's going to create a real hazard and a big mess for you, especially if you're running down the road and you're dropping oil right in front of your rear tire. 
Now, one of the downsides to running an external breather system, especially with a catch can, is that you do have to keep up with it and you do have to empty it periodically because the catch can is going to basically condense all that hot, all that hot gas in there with oil vapor and condensation. And if it fills up, you're going to suck all that right into the intake of your motorcycle. You really don't want that to happen. Now, the one benefit we do have with motorcycles is that in the fuel injected bikes, they're port injected, which means the fuel is actually sprayed before the intake valves. So the intake valves actually get cleaned by the incoming fuel. God forbid we ever get direct injection on motorcycles where fuel is direct is where fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber and we have hot oil and gas coming over the top of our intake valves and no fuel to wash them off. We're going to have some real issues down the road just like they're having with direct injected cars today. But for right now, we're using port injection, so we do have that going for us. Now, one of the other downsides, though, to running an external breather system is you will want to retune your motorcycle if you run an external breather system. Because the tune on your bike is already, it has taken into account for that oil vapor and that hot gas coming into the engine. And just suddenly taking that away, it can mess with your tuning. Not saying it'll happen in all cases, but... It is, a, it is a big possibility. So just make sure that you retune your motorcycle, like go run your auto tune or take it back to your dyno tuner. Now, if an external breather system isn't for you, because like I said, not one size fits all and you have to get very creative when putting one of these together. Another option you do have, rather than just running down the road with dirty pistons and your tune getting changed all the time, is to clean the top of your pistons. Now, probably one of the most invasive ways to do this is to just pull your heads off and scrub the top of your pistons clean. But that's a lot of work, that's very labor intensive. Now one other option we do have is to do a chemical cleaning. Now to do a chemical cleaning, you wanna get your bike hot up to operating temperature, go ride it, come back. And one, one option that you have is that you can pull your, pull your air cleaner off, start your motorcycle, hold it at about you know 2000 RPM, is spray a top cylinder cleaner into it, something like this Amsoil Power Foam. Now it doesn't have to be Amsoil, CRC has a product, Lucas has a product, even Seafoam makes a product for this. Now you don't wanna use the whole can in your motorcycle, just put a decent amount in there, maybe three quarters to half the can, cause you know, we'd use a whole can in a car engine, but spray it in there, keep the bike running, and then immediately shut it off, let it sit for about 15 minutes, then fire it up, get it running, and go ride the crap out of it to get all the carbon and everything blown out. Now that is one option to do, but the option that I prefer is usually the night before I'm gonna change my oil is I will pull my spark plugs out, I will spray that down the cylinders and let it sit on top of the pistons, and then I'll fire the bike up, get my bike up to operating temperature before I change my oil, get all that blown out of there, and then go ahead and change the oil. Either way, I would only recommend doing this when you're gonna change the oil in the bike because there is a high probability that some of that's gonna get past the rings and get into the oil. So you'll wanna go ahead and change your oil after you do that cleaning with the chemical. So guys, we've had a lot of questions about external breather systems. I really hope this kind of cleared things up and just showed you guys, it's really not a one size fits all thing depending on what air cleaner you have because air cleaners are a very personal statement and they have all different kinds of designs of backing plates out there. So you really gotta just take a look at your personal air cleaner and then get creative and find a way where you can run some tubing in there, drill it out and run it, keep it all hidden nice and clean. And unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of manufacturers out there that have air cleaners off the shelf with backing plates to run them externally because that's kind of illegal for them to manufacture something like that. So guys, if you're looking for a longer lasting engine, more power, and you don't have to tune the bike as often, definitely consider an external breather system. But at the very least, just make sure you periodically do something to clean the top of your pistons off and get that carbon out of there so you're not constantly changing your tune and messing everything up with your motorcycle. But anyhow guys, that's all I've got for you this week. I appreciate you watching. Please don't forget to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.